It's been quite a year for small businesses as they tried to survive the coronavirus pandemic. Federal and state relief programs have helped thousands of Mainers since last March, and more money may be on the way. But as News Center Maine's Sam Rogers tells us, some businesses are falling through the financial aid cracks. For business owners and business officials, 2020 won't easily be forgotten. I can't believe it's been nearly a year, but we closed on March 18th. It was a Wednesday. I will forever remember that date. In support of our businesses, Maine Senator Susan Collins announced Wednesday 4,666 Maine small businesses have been approved for more than $350 million in Paycheck Protection Program loans since that federal program started up again last month. We still saw some businesses falling through the cracks. Businesses like Will Wilcox Wellness and Fitness. Its new location in Brunswick opened in January 2019 and wasn't able to apply for some state and federal relief programs. Because I haven't been able to demonstrate those losses, I'm not eligible for any additional funding. Hopkins isn't alone. In Bar Harbor, Destination Health isn't a new business but moved to a new building this summer and can't prove that 25% loss of revenue. We're bringing in more revenue than we were last year but our bills and our mortgage is 10 times greater than it was. Olson thought her business's new services would allow it to fall under a hospitality classification and receive funding that way. We kind of fall into that category of gyms, but we are actually a lot more than that. To help these businesses in the cracks, the Maine Association of Chamber of Commerce Executives wrote a letter to Maine lawmakers calling for these business owners to be considered when crafting relief packages. Because it's never a one-size-fits-all situation. For Hopkins, her gym is a micro-business with fewer than five employees. Having a different uh, metric for measuring eligibility would be very helpful, and I think that the EIDL loan interest rate is quite high. New PPP loans are eligible for newer businesses, but all these programs can cause confusion. Reach out for support. Reach out. Start with the Chamber of Commerce. That's what we're here for. Now, Maine's leaders continue to work out another COVID relief package in Washington, hoping to fill in the cracks and help all of Maine's businesses. Sam Rogers, News Center, Maine. Senator Angus King's office says he is a co-sponsor of the new Business Preservation Act, which will establish programs to invest in young businesses in regions that do not typically attract startup capital, including businesses founded by women and people of color, in order to promote equity in the marketplace. Senator Susan Collins is responding to the main chamber's leaders, saying in part, I will continue to provide new businesses with the resources they need to safely reopen while protecting their customers and employees.